In today's video, we're going to be reacting to the oldest animals to ever live. And if you learned something new in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. What better way to kick off a list of incredibly old creatures with a species that might literally be immortal? The Teratopsis dornai. Okay, hang on. Hang on, you know, put your drinks down. How is that possible? Bro, humans live to be like 80 and turtles live to be 100. How can you not die? Fish is without question the most unique yeah. creature on the planet. That's because as far as we know, it's the only one who can survive indefinitely. How is it's that possible? Forever. It does this by following the advice many of us get as we grow older. They embrace their inner child. <laughs> okay. They take it to the logical extreme. After reproduction, the jellyfish's body begins to shut down. Rather than let death take its natural course, the jellyfish will actually revert back to its immature polyp Wait, what? stage. So hang on, whoa. So basically they die, then resurrect themselves? Okay, like, there's only one Jesus, not thousands. Growing back into a mature jellyfish over time so as to reproduce once again. Here's the kicker. They can do this as often as they like. And they remain That's the crazy. same jellyfish every time. By growing down, then up, then down, then up again. So basically they go from young to old die, then just repeat over the course of many years. So we know worms really can't do much other than crawl around. Yet apparently there's this one that's 42,000 years old. Y'all saw that, right? Made of far heartier stuff than the worms of today. How else to explain a couple of worms who, after forty-two thousand years of frozen, how spaces, can they still be like, like you are like frozen solid for tens of thousands of years? How can you possibly still be alive? It was their plan all along. It happened in July 2018. Okay. A group of Russian scientists teamed up with Princeton University to analyze some 300 nematode roundworms that had been buried That's in Siberian permafrost since the Stone Age. The scientists thawed the worms out, expecting little to happen beyond, well, science. Instead, they got a borderline miracle. A miracle? Two of the worms, after being thawed out, began to move. What's more, they started... How? 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 How in... ...were well and truly alive after all these millennia. The worms, both female, quickly got carbon dated to ensure these weren't regular worms who had fallen in the snow a week ago. Sure enough, one worm, whom we'll call Elsa, is around 32,000 wow. years old, while the other, whom we'll call Anna, Bro, is just literally, could you imagine, like, meeting a human from 10,000 years ago versus now would be like saying, hey, yeah, I have a new best friend and his name is Caveman. So we pretty much all know what coral is, but apparently coral can live past 4,000 years. 4,200 year old coral. corals aren't the most exciting creatures on the planet, given that they just hang around. Yeah, I'll say they don't exactly do much. Lives. But it's still incredible to know that at least one particular bit of coral has hung around since the old kingdom of ancient Egypt. Okay. In 2009, a team of scientists from Texas A&M changed their mind on a Leopathy's coral they've been studying off the coast of Hawaii. Since their research began in 2002, they were convinced that the coral was only a few hundred yeah, nope. years old. As it turns out, that was not the case. Rather, the coral was a few thousand years old. How? Ago. Like, you would have expected fish to eat all of that by now. Which is like thinking a girl is in preschool when she's actually someone's 90-year-old grandmother. Huh? Its age becomes even cooler when you consider okay. what the leopathies look like. A black skeleton with orange tissue. In short, it's an ancient Halloween creature. And that is beyond awesome. What's not awesome is that this 4,200-year-old creature is under threat. Yeah, it's for- threat. How is it not- how, It's probably been under threat for m literal thousands of years. So how is it not gone already? Fishermen cast nets that damage- Oh, the well, that's why the poachers then. keep lobbing off pieces of the coral for jewelry. Hopefully yeah, can please don't harm the ancient coral. Soon. So you all surely know what a shark is, right? Well, did you know that that sharks can live to be hundreds of years old? More specifically, over 500? Yeah, I know, right? A 520 year old shark. Provided you don't look and feel older every year, it would probably be cool to live to 500. Yeah. Unless, of course, you don't achieve sexual maturity for about 100. Bro, that of those could years. you imagine That's that? Probably less fun. That is, however, the life of a Greenland shark, probably the longest living species of sharks. That's like the longest living, bro. That's probably like the longest living animal of all time, other than the the worm that was frozen solid. 
a year, they don't start to age for a long, long time. The typical oh, yeah, grayling that's kind shark of creepy. can live around 400 <laughs> years. <and there laughs> you heard that, this. right? Typical age, 400 years. Bro, I'm 20, and I've already got back pain, and these guys probably get their first sign of back pain at like 120. Decidedly non-typical sharks out there. One shark in particular, at a whopping 5 meters long, or 16 and a half feet long, is likely the oldest Greenland shark Apparently ever, not. and perhaps the longest living shark in history. A 2016 study published in Science Magazine tagged this shark at being 392 Jeez. years old, with a plus-minus margin of 120 years. That means this shark could potentially be nearly 520 wow. years old, with no signs wow. of... Wow! So literally, like, my great-great-great... My many greats-grandparents probably saw this shark when it was a baby. Like, let's be real here. ...slowing down. But as we mentioned earlier, this longevity comes at a price. Female Greenland sharks can't reproduce until they're almost 100. Bro, could you imagine waiting that long just to have kids? 160 years? People beg to have kids in their 20s, and these guys wait till they're 160. Like, think about that for a minute. Oh, until then, they're just swimming around and eating, waiting for the time they grow older. I mean, that's the babies. life, honestly. So how did we figure out how old these sharks are through the powers of nuclear radiation. Basically, they discovered several dead sharks contained high amounts of carbon-14 due to radiation from 1950s nuclear bomb testing seeping into the water. The amount of carbon in the corpses, combined with their body length, told the scientists these sharks were born in the 1960s. They used that basic formula, carbon-14 amounts plus body length, to determine the approximate ages of men- Okay, to sum it up, they, they were being scientists and they did stuff and then they found out the age. Great. So our second to last creature is a is a tortoise that is not your typical age, as I'm sure you've pretty much figured out at this point. A 250 year old tortoise. Giant tortoises rarely have troubles living a long time. Many of them make it to 100 to 120 years old, so long as they're not eaten by a bird or snake when they're babies about the size of a tennis ball. This makes Adwaita's story all the okay. more amazing. This Aldabra giant tortoise was born around 17. What wow, you s okay? She's already dead, but you see, she was there when the Declaration of Independence was um, was signed. I'm sure that's crazy. I don't know how animals can live that long and still remain healthy. Didn't die until 2006. At 255 years old, he was the single oldest land creature in the world, and quite possibly the longest living land creature of all time. Amazingly, Edwida's story doesn't include much of anything that would point to why he lived for so long. He was by all measures a typical tortoise, who ate typical tortoise food and lived a typical tortoise life. For some reason, however, he managed to hang on longer than any other tortoise ever. Okay. Truth be told, he might still be alive today if not for one uh -oh, incident. Uh-oh, we're, we're just bad caretakers, I guess. 2005 his shell suffered oh, a crack in a wound oh okay i mean i'm not a tor i mean i'm no turtle the reason you can even live is you know is cracked then i don't think you're gonna live too much longer when you're that old developed. that's got to be painful that quickly became infected and a year later <sighs> edwida was dead carbon Re rest in peace edwida in the comments rest in peace Rating of his shell confirmed that he was indeed 255 wow. years old Though we're still no closer to bro this guy lived humanity. like for like five li five human lifetimes literally he lived he lived quite a life i'm sure so to wrap off this episode we are looking at a 200 year old whale depending on the whale average lifespans may vary well yeah Blue whales can live around 80 years while killer whales may only but make that's it, it? i thought they the were like 50 whale, as average is almost certainly the oldest living whale in the world and might be the oldest mammal period we only learned about this by accident in 2007 fishermen caught a bowhead with a harpoon stuck in its head what's more that particular brand of harpoon was only produced between 1879 and 1885 okay. curious researchers examined the specimen further determining that it was about 130 years old wow at the time of death. all right that alone would make this whale one of the oldest mammals ever but researchers were curious about the species as a whole they examined multiple other bowhead whale specimens and found most were between 135 and Bro, that's average? years old when they died. But one outlier made it to 211 years of age. Since it died in the 1990s, that means it was born around the time Washington was president. All right. Never mind reptiles and fish. For I mean, it was probably apple, Washington's whale, let's be honest here. ...is practically unheard of. Experts believe bowheads live so long because they live exclusively in cold northern water okay. and don't have a lot of food to eat. So they evolved to keep thick and warm layers of fat storing blubber on them at all times. 
Fat plus the cold waters essentially forcing the whales to grow slowly and not exert much energy equals an incredibly long life. So the next time someone preaches about how great cold showers are... Well, if you're still kicking around and you learned something new, well, I appreciate it and make sure to like and subscribe.